I'm Paweł Spechalski and in this episode on the INA5 on the Flying Wing series, let's calibrate the accelerometer. Today let's handle one of the critical INAV setup elements, the accelerometer calibration. Yes, it's critical, yes, it's required. Luckily, it's not really hard and can be done fairly easy. Basically, the process of accelerometer calibration is to measure the readout of the accelerometer in every axis, in every every possible combination so that the flight controller can compute zeros and gains. And when this is done correctly, not only INAF will be able to compute the angles, roll and pitch, but also the horizontal and vertical translations. Because yes, accelerometer data fills the gaps between the GPS readouts. To calibrate, let's go to the calibration tab and let's take a look at the huge button calibrate accelerometer. During the calibration, you will have to place your airplane in every six orientations, up, down, and all the four sides and keep it stable during the process. Yes, the model has to be stable during the measurements of the zeros and the gains. However, it does not really have to be super precise for the angle. Few degrees of the error will not make any difference. It's much more important that the model is perfectly still during the measurement and that during the first step, the accelerometer is facing up. In majority of the flight controllers this means that the top side of the flight controller has to be facing up. There are a few flight controllers where the accelerometer is mounted on the bottom side of the board then you just have to start with your model flipped to the bottom side up. But besides that the order is not really that important only the first step with accelerometer facing up. I have right now model laying flat on my bench, so let's hit accelerometer, read what it says, and let's continue with the first step. To do it, you have to hit the, yeah, calibrate accelerometer one more time, then the INAV will get the zeros and the gains for this orientation, and step one will be done. Then, let me flip the model 180 degrees so that the bottom side is facing up, and hit the calibrate accelerometer button again. One more time, step two succeeded wonderfully. And now, all the remaining four sides. And that's all. The accelerometer was calibrated. We will see the calibration finished. Yeah, success message. And here, slightly lower, we will see the zeros and the gains for the accelerometer. Now, because we are not using compass and we are not using the upflow, our job in the calibration tab is over and we can save and reboot. That was not that hard. In the next video in the service, let's set up the radio receiver and the mixer. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!